It is a wonderful morning, and we are in a small old Spanish town next to the castle that stands on the Mediterranean sea coast. Here is the watercolor artwork I will achieve by the end of this lesson. I will be painting on location standing on the rock on which the castle is built. The view from here contains some incredible scenery. The morning sky is clear and cloudless, and the sun is in front of me. As we are looking down on the town from above, it compositionally makes sense to place the horizon of this artwork in the top half. When planning to paint outdoors, it is important to find a place in a shadow without direct sunlight. Otherwise, the bright light will make it hard to see real colors of paints. Here is the beautiful view seen from this point. We can see the castle walls, the sea, and the hills. I am making a rough sketch in graphite pencil on watercolor paper. Since the sunlight is warm in color, I use a mix of yellow ochre light, cadmium red, and cadmium orange, and apply it wet on dry. The cold blue color is also painted wet into wet with wide brush strokes. Although the sky is very clear in real life, I add some clouds to make it a bit more interesting. The hills closer to us have darker tonal values. This creates an illusion of aerial perspective where the hills closer to us are warmer and greener than those that are further away. I will now paint the sea. Its blue color is mixed from ultramarine, viridian, and cadmium orange. This is the mix for the top half of the sea. To deepen up the tone of the sea, I can now paint wet into wet, adding more pigment with a smaller brush. The sun is in front of us, and the bartizan and the castle walls are lit from behind which produces a dark silhouette on the light background. I am no longer in the shadow and the sunlight makes it more difficult to paint outdoors. Nevertheless, I am halfway through this artwork and I will complete it soon. I am building up tonal values to achieve a greater contrast between the light background and the foreground. The artwork is gradually taking shape. It is not my creative task to meticulously capture every detail.